political cupcakes, political cupcakes. Things are getting so political, political cupcakes, yeah! Cupcake fans, I was just bird watching. Not because I like birds. I actually have this thing called ornithophobia. No, I was bird watching because I want to get closer to a specific leader, Vladimir Putin. Sometimes Putin likes to hang out with wild geese. Oh, look, I think I see him now. Putin is what you call a man's man. He rides bareback, hugs polar bears, and holds a serious grudge. You don't mess with Putin. Which is why he needs a manly cupcake. Vladimir Putin's White Russian Cupcakes. Boris Yeltsin resigned in 1999, Putin was elected as president. He was a former administrator and a former KGB agent. Lots of people attribute Russia's slow economic progress before Putin's reign to Boris Yeltsin's drinking problem. Well, we still gotta add our alcohol to this recipe. Putin is widely accredited for bringing up Russia's economy by buying government oil fields in order to pump up the government revenue. But Putin's Russia wasn't all sugar cream and dollars. He took over the Russian TV station and banned all opposing views in the media. That meant that victims of government corruption in Russia had no voice. You could say that Putin's plans for democratic Russia were only half-baked. Putin's predecessor and political BFF, Dmitry Mendeleev, was trying to heat up those democratic reforms by passing anti-corruption laws and upping Russia's technology. But now that Putin's back in power, we're seeing more of that old autocratic rule. Recently, Putin put the icing on the government corruption cake. He made the definition of treason so vague that any Russian that comes into contact with a foreigner could face up to 20 years in prison. Guess I won't be sending these cupcakes to Russia. Russia is no sweet place to live, and Putin might be in power till 2024. So we might as well take a bite of these cupcakes now because Putin's next directive is against alcohol.